Superfood Evolution presents Matcha Green Tea Powder. What are its beneficial components and a comparison to green tea and coffee? Matcha is a type of powdered green tea that comes from the same plant that produces all black, white, and green tea, the Camellia sinensis species. While there are many ornamental flowering varieties in the genus Camellia, this particular species is known to have the highest alkaloid content and used most exclusively for tea production. The traditional preparation of matcha is a spiritual activity with deep-seated roots in Japanese Zen Buddhism and Chinoyu, the Japanese tea ceremony. This is a meditative and highly focused ritual of preparing, serving, and consuming matcha tea that has evolved as a form of ceremonial practice since the 12th century. Known for its rich, smooth, and full-bodied green leafy flavor, the basic steps for making matcha involve vigorously whisking the powder into hot water until a frothy to dense foam is created. The three customary tools for making matcha include a bamboo whisk or cha sen, a scoop or cha shaku, and a ceramic matcha bowl or cha wan. Different than green tea infusions, when you drink a cup of matcha tea, you're consuming the whole leaf and all its beneficial properties. It is considered one of the healthiest of the green tea varieties for this reason. The powder is commonly used as a flavor enhancer in many Japanese foods and likewise has become very popular as an ingredient in recent times in numerous Western-style dessert and drink recipes. Today, there are hundreds of brands online offering matcha green tea powder, and their marketing is not just for tea consumption. What is matcha? The green Camellia sinensis leaves used to produce matcha are different than other types of tea in that they are shade grown for about three to four weeks before they are harvested. This slows down their growth and helps to increase the chlorophyll content producing a darker and deeper green color. This technique also imparts a higher concentration of other nutrients compared to most tea plants grown in direct sunlight. The unrolled dried leaves produced from this shade growing process are called tencha. When tencha leaves are powdered, they are called matcha. After the leaves are harvested, they are briefly steam prepared, dried, and usually the veins and stems are removed. High quality talc-like matcha powder is made via a slow stone grinding process which produces a very fine powder. The term matcha in fact means finely powdered tea. Powdered leaves are known for their bright jade to lime green color. The powder created offers a smooth texture when whisked in hot water that is ideally at a temperature around 176 degrees Fahrenheit. In Japanese tradition, it is prepared as a thick koicha tea or a thin yusucha tea using more or less powder per ratio of water. Most all commercial tencha tea is produced in the Kyoto prefecture of Japan, famous for its quality, shade-grown tea cultivation and specific cultivars used to make matcha green tea powder. Further on in this video, we will discuss the difference between culinary grade matcha versus ceremonial grade matcha, the two most popular varieties. Benefits of Matcha Green Tea Powder Contains antioxidants like catechins. As we mentioned previously, one thing about consuming matcha tea compared to other green teas is that you're drinking the whole leaf and therefore ingesting health enhancing nutrients simultaneously. In addition, the overall beneficial properties in tencha tea leaves increase significantly because of the way it is shade grown. One of these compounds common to the Camellia sinensis species are the polyphenols known as catechins. While they are also found in other foods like cacao and berries, green tea is known to be one of the highest sources of these natural plant-based antioxidants. The four major catechins in green tea, and especially the tencha leaf matcha variety, are epigallocatechin, epicatechin, epigallocatechin gallate, and epicatechin gallate. The most studied, abundant, and active catechin is epigallocatechin gallate, also called epigallocatechin 3 gallate or EGCG, and can constitute up to 60% of the green tea leaf. 
In a 2017 review, the EGCGs and green tea extracts were acknowledged for their potential protective effects on a number of different health influences. In comparison to regular green tea, one study identified that the concentration of EGCG in matcha tea is at least three times higher than most green teas, and even up to 137 times greater than some China green tips tested. In general, catechins have been researched helpful for inflammatory issues, such as inflammatory bowel disease, and EGCG is also known to have a beneficial influence on vascular and metabolic actions. Likewise, the catechins present in green tea are recognized for their antimicrobial properties and suggested useful for conditions such as periodontal disease. Matcha is commonly marketed as a useful adjunct to the diet for those looking to lose excess body weight. This is not only due to the caffeine content, but also because catechins are additionally known to help boost metabolism, which can help to burn body fat. Studies on matcha green tea powder show that catechins are relatively heat stable, but can be reduced by 20% when heated to 356 degrees Fahrenheit. However, this is a temperature that is much higher than that used when preparing a traditional cup of matcha. Matcha tea's caffeine content in comparison to green tea and coffee. Matcha contains the purine alkaloid known as caffeine, along with small amounts of theobromine and theophylline. The amount of caffeine in matcha tea is higher than the same portion of steeped green tea leaves, sometimes up to three times greater. A one teaspoon or two gram serving size of matcha green tea powder whisked into eight fluid ounces of hot water is known to contain approximately 70 milligrams of caffeine. This amount can of course vary on quality and type of matcha consumed. Brewed green tea is usually between 25 to 50 milligrams of caffeine depending on variety. If you're sensitive to caffeine, a one quarter to one half teaspoon serving might be more appropriate. This would equate to about 17 to 35 milligrams of caffeine. Other options may also include non-caffeinated teas that act more naturally as herbal stimulants. The average cup of coffee is about 95 milligrams of caffeine per eight fluid ounces. Typically, the average cup of matcha is a little over two thirds the amount of coffee and is often considered moderate by comparison. One of the frequently claimed benefits of matcha is that it provides caffeine without the nervous, jittery side effects of coffee. While this might have something to do with the fact that you're consuming the fibrous whole leaf with your tea in effect slowing its absorption rate, other evidence suggests another component is involved. Matcha's L-theanine content helps to balance caffeine. Matcha green tea powder is popular for its ability to encourage a calm yet alert state, inhibiting some of the agitating side effects associated with other caffeinated substances such as coffee. This is due to one of the powder's major amino acid constituents called theanine or L-theanine. L-theanine is found primarily in the Bay Bolete edible mushroom species and Camellia sinensis plant. This compound is the most abundant non-protein amino acid in the leaves, along with small amounts of arginine and glutamic acid. These substances are what gives matcha its increased umami-like flavor. Shade-growing tencha leaves concentrates the L-theanine content and thus matcha can contain up to five times the amount as regular green tea. L-theanine has been shown to facilitate the generation of alpha waves in the brain promoting a relaxed state without causing drowsiness. Some individuals report that it helps to promote heightened concentration, and similarly in some research, the L-theanine and caffeine combination in green tea was found to have a relaxing impact with a beneficial outcome on sustained attention, memory, and suppression of distraction. Theanine is able to cross the blood-brain barrier and is believed to support the increase of dopamine, serotonin, and GABA levels in the brain and is found to have a potential anti-stress benefit. It is known to be utilized historically as a type of Shen tonic by Zen Buddhists to aid in meditation practice as it encourages a peaceful state of mind. In the Book of Tea, Japanese 19th century scholar Kakuzo Akakura 
also describes its use by Buddhist monks to prevent drowsiness during their long hours of meditation. While Taoists, he writes, claimed it as an important ingredient in the elixir of immortality. The L-theanine derived from green tea with its researched anti-stress response was shown to have probable benefits for patients with major depression. In 2018 research conducted at the University of Shizuka, Japan, analyzing the stress-reducing effect of matcha on humans as well as mice, matcha intake of 3 grams in 500 milliliters of hot water had a stress-reducing influence on students tested. Likewise, mice given 33 milligrams per kilogram of matcha showed significant suppression of adrenal enlargement, a critical stress response organ. What does matcha taste like? The unique flavor of matcha green tea powder is in part due to its higher amino acid content, which generally creates a mildly sweet and pleasant bitter green leafy flavor with a slight astringency. If you enjoy the flavor of green tea, you will most likely find a cup of matcha very appealing to the taste buds. Keep in mind, not all matcha is created equal. Taste qualities can be largely affected by many variables, such as specialized cultivar utilized, season of harvest, as well as unique artisanal Japanese growing methods. All of these influences can alter subtle flavors, reduce bitterness, and improve texture when infused. While there are no standard requirements for matcha green tea powder quality, evaluation is often based on several factors, which predominantly include taste, aroma, color, and texture. Ceremonial grade versus culinary. There are essentially two types most widely marketed, ceremonial grade and culinary grade. Ceremonial grade is considered the highest quality matcha, and as the name implies, is the one traditionally used in Japanese tea ceremonies. The leaves are sourced from the young top part of the plant rather than the bottom. After drying, the leaves are stone ground very finely over a number of hours, which ultimately creates a smoother tea. It is described to have a milder taste and increased umami flavor characteristics. This type is often much more expensive than lower grades. Culinary grade is the type of matcha powder frequently used for less ritualistic purposes as a tea or as a culinary ingredient addition in dessert or drink recipes. The leaves are sourced from the older, lower part of the plant. It is distinguished for its slightly stronger green flavor and can be coarser in particle size. If matcha powder doesn't specify grade, it is usually a culinary variety. Because there has been a concern about the high levels of lead and other heavy metals in green tea sourced from low quality, commercially grown tea plants, we always recommend certified organic matcha green tea powder to avoid these potential contaminants. For more on other nutritional components, how to use or how to prepare matcha, please visit the link above or in the description box of this video. Precautions. Consuming an excess amount of matcha green tea powder because of the caffeine content may trigger unwanted side effects such as insomnia or headaches. It is best to avoid consuming matcha if you are pregnant or nursing. Seek the advice of your nutritionist or healthcare provider before drinking matcha if you have a serious medical condition or are taking prescribed medications. Thanks for watching. For additional in-depth info, as well as the best sources of matcha and matcha making supplies that we know of, be sure and investigate the links in the description box below this video. Please like, share, and or give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And be sure and check out these other informational videos.